Hello everyone, so in this tutorial uh, we're going to see how we can build SR latch using NAND gate. So let's begin. So this is the diagram of SR latch. So we can see that in this diagram we have used NAND gates. Alright, so SR latch can be built using other gates too, but in this uh, tutorial we're going to build it uh, using NAND gate only. Alright, so this is the truth table uh, for NAND gate. So we already know this truth table, uh, but for your convenience, here's the truth table again. So from this truth table, uh, we need to find out a specific pattern. Alright, so from this truth table of NAND gate, we can see that the output becomes 1 when uh, there is at least 1 0 in the inputs. We can see that there are two different inputs. A and B and if at least one input is 0 then the output becomes 1 so this is the pattern we can get from this truth table alright and this will uh, be uh, th this will be really useful in our further explanation for this diagram okay so next we're going to pick some random values in S and R S and R these are inputs and these are the outputs so q is the main output and q prime is just the complement of the main output all right so let's begin our uh, illustration using s equals to 0 and r equals to 1 so since this is a nand gate all right so this right here is a nand gate since this is a nand gate and at least one input here is 0 so we don't need to know the uh, other input we don't know the other input and we don't need to know the other input because we already know that there is at least one zero in one input so we can clearly say that this output right here will be one all right and if this is one we can see that this one goes basically here uh, at the bottom so one and one goes into the NAND gate and it produces zero you could think of it uh, as another way uh, that means if q equals to 1 then q prime would automate uh, would automatically be 0 all right so this is one possible illustration now let's change the values all right so we're going to keep 1 and 0 in the output and we're going to change the inputs so let's change the inputs so we're going to cross them out and we're going to pick some new inputs so now we're going to pick 1 and 1 in both S and R alright now as you can see if this is 1 and this input right here this is this is basically 0 because Q prime is 0 so this goes here so 1 and 0 means the output would be 1 alright and since R equals to 1 and this input right here alright this one this is basically 1 so 1 and 1 goes into the NAND gate and it produces 0 at the output so as we can see that our previous outputs were 1 and 0 and we kept those outputs and changed our inputs but we can see that the new outputs are basically same as the previous outputs alright 1 and 0 again alright so this is one possible illustration now we're going to start the whole illustration again we're going to erase the inputs and also the outputs alright so now start again from the very beginning so now we're going to consider s equals to 1 and r equals to 0 so if r equals to 0 and since this is a NAND gate we can clearly say that q prime would be 1 and if q prime is 1 then q should be 0 since uh, one uh, q prime is basically the complement of q alright so now we're going to uh, keep those outputs 0 and 1 alright and we're going to change the inputs so we're going to consider 1 and 1 for both S and R now so if S equals to 1 and this input comes from Q prime so Q prime is 1 so basically 1 and 1 produces 0 at the output alright so the new value is 0 just like the previous one and if R equals to 1 and this input right here this comes from Q so basically it's 0 so 1 and 0 produce 1 at the output so just like the previous output so again we can see that we tried with s equals to 1 and r equals to 0 and we got q equals to 0 and q prime equals to 1 
then we kept the outputs and changed the inputs and we gave 1 and 1 in both S and R but both of them actually produced the same output as before which is Q equals to 0 and Q prime equals to 1 alright so there were two inputs basically from the beginning S and R and from two inputs we can get four possible combinations right 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 alright we've already seen some illustrations based upon 0 1 1 0 and we also saw 1 1 but what we didn't see is 0 0 so what would happen if s equals to 0 and r equals to 0 alright but before going into that I want to mention another thing that why I didn't uh, initialize s and r using 1 and 1 alright so you might ask that why I didn't initialize s and r using 1 and 1 I initialized it with 0 1 then I showed an example using 1 and 0 but I didn't do it with 1 1 so why didn't I do that because as you can see 1 1 basically indicates that it preserves the previous value right so when I give 1 1 in S and R it basically preserves the previous value alright so we need to have some type of values in Q and Q prime to see the effect of 1 and 1 alright so that's why I did not initialize using 1 uh, and 1 in both S and R what I did uh, I actually initialized S and R using different values 0 1 or 1 0 and then I took the other inputs 1 and 1 to show you the effect of uh, what 1 1 does alright so let's move forward so now I'm going to initialize S and R using 0 and 0 alright so if I put 0 and 0 here then what happens so this is a NAND gate so if I put 0 here at least one input is 0 so that means Q should be 1 and now R equals to 0 alright and this is a NAND gate so since one, uh, one, uh, since one input is 0 so Q prime should be 1 alright but here's the problem so Q and Q prime are basically uh, complement to each other alright so Q and Q prime are opposites so how can both be the same value how can both have the uh, same value of 1 alright so this is a problematic state so that means this specific case is completely impossible and it cannot be used alright so whatever I have said till now they are all written right here so I have shown case 1 case 2 and case 3 so I have shown all the cases and we have completed all the possible combinations so 0 1 1 0 1 1 and 0 0 alright and as I said 0 0 is an impossible case alright now we can write down the truth table for SR latch so there are four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 and we saw that for 0 0 we got an impossible state so we cannot use that that's why it's written not used in the output for 0 1 we got 1 0 in Q and Q prime respectively for 1 0 we got 0 1 and for 1 1 we saw that uh, there were no change in the output state so that's why it's written as memory slash no change that means if we put 1 1 in S and R respectively then we get absolutely no change in the output than the previous state alright so this is the overall truth table for SR latch and that's the end of this tutorial in the next tutorial uh, we'll be seeing how we can build uh, an SR flip-flop using the SR latch thank you everyone